is going on guys? Brett Alive back with another video and today we have the brand new Top Picks WWE 2023 Elite figures. In this video, we're going to be reviewing each and every one of these figures. Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, John Cena, as well as Drew McIntyre. We picked all these figures up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Using discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10%. Feel free to use code LIVE, all caps. We'll save 10% off at checkout. Feel free to use it on AEW figures, WWE figures, accessories, everything on the website. Use it. But yes, Topic 2023 release. This set is stacked, bro. Look at all these characters we're getting. A lot of well-known names. Of course, in the top picks line, they always try to give us very well-known superstars so then they can sell them better. Rey Mysterio. Look at this beauty. Oh, my God. Literally beautiful. Randy Orton. Brand new gold freaking logos on the figure. And, of course, we got the Elite well, technically, the Elite 3 John Cena, the first ever Elite John Cena re-released here in the Top Picks line. I cannot wait to compare it to my Elite 3 Cena that I have right here. I cannot wait to do that. And then we also have, it's technically a re-released Drew McIntyre from Elite Series 89. Uh, I believe 89. I believe it's 89. Um, But yeah, still a great figure. But yes, guys, in this video, we're going to be reviewing our boxing each and every one of these figures. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Starting off first with Rey Mysterio. Here's a look at the packaging. Mattel continuing the trend with this curved blue and black packaging. It looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of it. Top picks at the top Elite Collection WWE logo. You can see Rey Mysterio engraved on the side of the packaging. And then, of course, it says Rey Mysterio right there. Airplus Mattel, certified authentic, true effects, that scan technology. There's some info on the back if you guys are interested. Feel free to pause the video to read, as well as the other people on the set, which I will be reviewing in this video. The only accessory we're getting with this figure, besides the interchangeable hands, is this cutoff shirt. It's a brand new logo. Go. Brand new Rey Mysterio shirt we're seeing that we haven't seen before. Brand new logo here on the front. You can see the Rey Mysterio mask outlined in yellow. And you can see some pink detail in there as well. Obviously, you just slip it on the top of the figure. It's a pretty nice accessory. And jumping now into this beautiful Rey Mysterio figures. Yes, I do have my major, major gripes with this figure. But otherwise, it's literally a fantastic figure figure dude starting off first with the head scan it looks great i really like the color scheme i like the yellow i think everything looks great the only thing that i'm bothered by two things with this head scan two things with the head scan can you believe it this mask you can see the side pieces you can see a better photo right here see these right here the little ray logos that are on the side of the mask those are supposed to be a separate piece and they're supposed to be sticking up like a batman mask on the sides. Mattel skimped out and they didn't do that. Another thing that they skimped out on, I hate to point this out, but the back of the mask is supposed to be open. Look at that. It's on the box. The back of the mask is supposed to be open. I was a little disappointed by that, but from first glance, a regular like fan, a regular wrestling figure collector wouldn't even notice that. It looks great. I barely even noticed until I looked at the box and more like, wait a minute, what the heck? But yeah, head scan still looks really good in my opinion. I love this gear, bro. You can see the nice looking pink, um, not pink, yellow logo on the front. He's got a very nice tight gray shirt. You could see the little tassels on the side with the Rey Mysterio logo right in the center. Some black gloves. Next time, Mattel, next Ray Elite, please, can we get some open gloved hands instead of these fisted ones and these open ones? I swear, we always get the fisted ones. Give us some open ones. Change it up a little bit. The tattoo detail looks fantastic, and of course, we are seeing the double jointed elbows giving us that extra articulation, which is fantastic. Moving down, we do have some more blue right here in the center, and you can see some more question marks for the Mysterio logos on the side. And then right here, it says GOAT, which is dope. And then on the back, you can see more of the logos, which looks sick. And moving down, it says 619 on the boots, and then it says GOAT on the front and it's more like a dark gray down here and a light gray up here this is a fantastic figure this is literally a fantastic figure of course i do have my gripes with the head scan but if you're popping this on the shelf and like you don't really care like about like accuracy like this is a great figure jumping into the next figure we do have drew mcintyre i'm not going to be spending too much time on this drew mcintyre only because we've seen this exact figure before it is a re-release but if you missed out on it the first time i definitely recommend grabbing this dude it's a great freaking figure it was great then it's great now there's some info on the back if you guys are interested pause the video to read and without further ado we are going to jump in to the review. Accessories wise with this figure we are seeing two main accessories with these figures besides the wrist gauntlets and the interchangeable hands. He is including the kilt right here which is a very nice kilt. I like the blue and white design but I, like I said we've seen it before. It looks really nice though. You got this golden white little thing on the front. It looks really sweet and of course you buckle it up in the back which I find very fun. Very cool. If it was cloth that would also be really cool. Of course we are seeing Angela the sword which oh dude it's always to get it's always cool to get a sword with a wrestling figure like this is freaking dope. Look at this thing bro the hilt looks great the freaking sh like literally everything looks great i love that sword 
Then, of course, we got the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Probably the best head scan we've ever seen for Drew. Um, literally, it's great. The beard, mustache, goatee. The smirk is just perfect for his face look. I love it. The long hair going all the way around to the back. Love that. Torso looks pretty good. Maybe a little jacked, but Drew McIntyre is pretty freaking jacked. Double jointed elbows. We are seeing the metal looking wrist gauntlets right here. If you were to remove them, you can reveal some black wrist tape below which is a pretty neat touch. And then moving down, we do have more of that blue and white, like, um, look or pattern, if you will, on the side there. And you can see some nice silver studs surrounding the gear. And then we also do have the Mac entire logos on the knee pads as well as the black boots. And jumping into the next figure, we do have the legend killer, Randy Orton. Hey, Randy. We got Randy Orton, dude. Oh, I love Randy Orton figures. Randy Orton figures are so dope, bro. He's got the brand new gold logo look. I'm really excited to get this out of the packaging. But no freaking cloth sweatshirt yet, Mattel. Come on, bro. This is literally like the fifth rubber sweatshirt we've seen with Randy Orton in a row, bro. Give us the cloth one already. Come on now. Anyways, Randy Orton. Dude, it looks freaking fantastic. Uh, there is some info on the back if you guys are interested. Pause the video to read. Other people on the set. You guys have already seen them. Accessories wise for this figure, I am going to mention the interchangeable hands this time because we are seeing the Randy Orton freaking posing hands, which I always love getting. These are probably, yeah, this is probably my favorite set of interchangeable hands to get because you could make the figure look so dope. And also, I know, I know they're on the figure, but finally, baby, we're seeing the Randy Orton without fisted hands. They're giving us open hands for the Randy. Let's go. So you got open and you got the Randy Orton posing hands. And of course, the main accessory we are seeing is this rubber sweatshirt. It is cool though, because we are seeing some new logos on it. We got a brand new RKO logo on the front. Looks cool. And then a brand new logo, uh, brand new RKO logo on the back. Looks pretty weathered. I like the look of it. And as far as the Randy Orton head scan goes, here he is, guys, looking menacing. Look at the Viper. Great head scan. They got the shaved Randy Orton head scan. I want to bring in my Elite 90 Randy Orton right here. Or is this Elite 91? I think it's Elite 90. Somewhere around Elite 90. But as you can see, he's got the beard painted on there. No beard here. I love no beard Orton. Literally, it just looks so more menacing. I don't know why, uh, but it just looks freaking dope, bro. I love this one. Of course, hair is your basic Randy Orton. Moving down, he's got the really nice looking uh, Dolph Ziggler torso, which I'm a big fan of torso. Looks pretty real. Looks pretty good. Tattoos, obviously, on fleek with the double jointed elbows. Looking fantastic with, as well, the black wrist tape. Moving to the back, got the iconic. Randy Orton back logo. It says Orton on the back with the gold outlining in the white. You got these logos on the side, which Randy's been rocking for years. And on the bottom, yeah, the knee pads, you can see RKO with a Viper behind the K on the knee pads, which looks dope. And then, of course, to top it all off, he's got the black boots right at the bottom. And last but certainly not least, we got John Cena. And as you guys know, John Cena is one of my favorite elite figures to ever collect. So I have every single elite John Cena. If you don't believe me, let me move the camera. Boom! Right over there. Every John Cena Elite ever made right on the second shelf. We're about to add this one over there in a few minutes. We got the brand new Top Pick 2023 Elite John Cena based off of 2009. With his HLR WrestleMania 25 look in that triple threat match against Big Show and Edge for the world title when he captured the world title, obviously. You can see Cena on the front, Cena right there, Cena right there, Cena right there. There's some info on the back, and then you also have Cena right there. I'm just kidding, you can't really see him. Oh, yeah, by the way, the figure came, uh, this box came with no figure inside of it. It's freaking nuts. You can't even see anything in there. It's crazy. What a figure. This is a great John Cena, guys. Holy cow. Accessories first. We got the HLR Hustle, Loyalty, Respect. John Cena, red, white, and blue t-shirt, looking fantastic. You can see him doing the STF on the front, five stars right there, looks dope. I love this, it's so cool. We also are seeing the John Cena, you can't see me hands. You guys have seen those a million times. And then of course, we are seeing the ultimate edition version of the hat. It's a bigger style to fit the head skin, which is also ultimate edition made, which is dope. You got the you can't see me uh, logo on the front, the blue bill right there. It looks great. I'm really into that hat. And of course, we are seeing the chain. The dog tags right there. Looking sick. And here is the brand new John Cena Topics 2023 Elite figure. Look at that head scan, bro. The reason the Ultimate Edition head scan. And thank you. I really, I appreciate you. Thank you for using, reusing the Ultimate Edition head. It looks dope. I love the smile. Looks amazing. Hair looks great. Fade looks great. And another thing that I absolutely love about it, if you bought the Ultimate Edition, feel free, hold on, to remove the head scan. 
and put your Ultimate Edition heads on here. Literally, that is the dopest thing ever. Oh my gosh. You can literally use your Ultimate Edition heads for, with this figure. Dope as crap. I love the torso. You got these non-painted on wristbands, bro. They didn't freaking skimp out and just paint them on. They gave us an extra mold. Look at this. You can literally take it off. It's an extra mold. How dope is that? On the right wrist, you got the You Can't See Me logos. And then, if it'll focus. And then on the left, you got the HLR, Hustle, Loyalty, Respect logos right there. C Nation right there, obviously. This one's always been a separate mold, but obviously it looks more real this time. More of a fabric look, even though it's rubber. Love that. You got the light gray jorts going on. Uh, this, is, this is literally one of the best Cena figures. This is a great figure. And then, of course, you know the black belt. And then moving down, you do have the white shoes right there. Once again, we got the best wrestler of all time sitting in the middle of the ring, John Cena. There he is. I love this figure with all the accessories on, by the way. It looks amazing. And of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to get the Elite 3 John Cena in the frame. So you guys get to get a look. Check this out. First ever John Cena Elite newest John Cena Elite. Look at the insane difference between these two figures. Oh my god, dude. Look at the look at the wristbands. Painted on? Not painted on. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the difference in the jorts. The only thing that's better on the Elite 3, I'm gonna be honest, is the shoes. Those shoes are absolutely dope. These are kind of lame. Uh, but whoa, that is cool. Putting those next to each other. 12 year difference between these two figures. How freaking nuts is that? Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video here today on the brand new WWE Top Pick Elite 2023 figures. These are great. My favorite figure out of the set is obviously the Randy, uh, not the Randy Orton, the John Cena, dude. The John Cena is so sick, but John Cena figures do have a special spot in my heart. So yours might be the Orton, yours might be the Ray, yours might be the Drew. Mine is the Cena. I love that figure. But yes, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, pick them all up for me. Click on the most recent videos. Com. Use the Discord code Live Dragon to save 10%. Feel free to use code LVE, all caps. It'll save you 10%. And I'll see you guys next time. Bread Live! Out!